Yeah, in this area, I will briefly introduce the history of molecular evolution and some terminologies. So those are in the first chapter of Grower and D. And if, as I said in previous hours, if you don't have the book, don't panic. So I have the handout with you. So the handout is the one I just like, I read the book and I think this is important. I, I have to remember to talk about in class and this will be in the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint is online available and we'll talk a little bit about the history and hopefully not for not too long and if I cannot finish, finish this chapter today don't worry I'll, I'll continue on this and this is, should be very easy for you so I'll just try to uh, warm up as I say this is like a, an exercise for the first week I try to say okay we will have lecture and for two hour lectures on the first week but it will be lighter just just let you know okay this will be the pace for us then this will be something we'll continue on and it, the lecture material will become more and much more new things in each lecture and maybe we'll talk a little bit faster if it's too fast just let us know we'll try to slow down you can get a little bit feeling about how much you can understand from my lecture and also if it's too easy this is on the easier end for the entire semester if it's too difficult eh, then you have to think about it but hopefully you won't feel too boring because it's like I knew already what you're talking you're wasting my time sorry bear with me just try to make sure we are all on the same page then we'll be able to go on for each lecture so I know a lot of the materials I'm going to talk about today you're already aware of it but this is just a reminder okay so we want to get the definition for molecular evolution before we start talking about anything yeah. then what is molecular evolution what people really do and you see two words evolution and another thing is uh, molecular okay so you know what exactly you probably get a feeling about what people are doing they use the molecular data to answer some specific evolutionary questions so this is based on the two words here okay I want to ask everyone I have to answer quickly because we don't have a lot of time could someone give me a definition of evolution what do you know? What does like, evolution mean? Yes? Good. He just mentioned if he wants you to give a definition, he's very brave. Um, like to share his opinion, but he's still afraid to talk in English which is okay. He mentioned just um, a minute ago, let's say evolution is the organism changes over time, and which is very good definition. If you look at it, the definition of evolution, actually evolution is change. Something change. If down to the genetic level, we'll talk about allele frequency this is what we will talk next week and at the organism level we'll see the morphological differences and also the change over time and more specifically in your um, evolution course you probably talk about all the fossil records because we have a very long time um, evidences and we discovered them and we can compare so this is something in evolution we talk about all this if you switch the word evolution to change then this become more obvious we are interested in the changes at molecular level and if it changes as a biologist know you know we know what what is the change what are the changes and you want to know how like how did it happen right. then you want to know why so that's the mechanism 
So this is something you already know. We just like put the things together, and hopefully you understand. And there are these two major fields, and I already mentioned that. One is we are interested in the molecule, and specifically we say the macro molecules. And when we say macro molecules, we talk about DNA or proteins. And or we are specific interested in the species. So that's the phylogenetic reconstruction. So we have a lot of different fields, but briefly these two are the two major parts. So in this field, you turn, you open any paper or books, you will see, oh, we are interested, blah, 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 a specific question. So we use something, usually as a protein or a DNA or the genome to address something, something. So this is like the formula. Like it's not really exactly written in this form, but this is something they have a specific question. They use molecular data and to address a specific. So it's a pattern, like pattern of the changes, or it's the mechanism, like whether it's under natural selection. So that's the mechanism. So this is something we are interested in the major practice in this field.